Before even the darkness, there was nothing. Nothing until Pleiana, goddess of the farming, formed Throsia. From the back of her winged stag, and with a sacred stone in each hand, Diana stacked the mountains and filled the oceans. To protect the stones that sustain the balance of Throsha, Diana chose from among all the creatures five guardians. She called forth Krieg, she called forth Talum, she called forth Venada, she called forth Arya, and she called forth Malthior. Then Diana summoned from the stars Galavor, a Hexmaster. Together, the six formed the Hexant, the governing body of Throsha. For many centuries, there was only peace throughout the land. Then came the Cleaving. The ruling of the Hexant went against the wishes of Ultior, the current leader of the clan Malthior. Then the earth shook, signaling to all that an eye of Hyanna had been stolen. The Guardians knew they must act quickly to save the second eye, for if both fell into Ultior's hands, he could undo the forming. When the Guardians attempted to depart, they soon discovered Ultior had cast a spell on the Hex, trapping them inside. The Hexmaster informed the Guardians that while they were trapped, the spell held no power over their clan. He told them they may each choose a member of their clan to embark on the quest together to save the Eye. He would open for them a channel that would allow the Guardians to witness their quest and for brief moments allow them to commune with the members of their clans, but leave a channel open for too long and Ulthior could discover it and close off all communications between the Guardians and the clan members forever. The channels have now been recharged, as evidenced by the re-emergence of our Guardians and of our Champions. Now, the channels have been officially reopened. Now, before we get too far, let me say this. At the end of the evening, you'll have a chance to vote for who championed the night. That goes for you, the witnesses here at the Hex, and also you, the citizens of Throsha near and afar. How do I do that if I'm near or afar, you may ask? With these special words, ye ought to remember. Hive, channel 5com Hive, channel 5com Don't forget it, a very secret spell. All right, I'll turn it back to you, Hex Master. adventurers, they had just defeated a vampire deep in the heart of Mount Kamar, searching for the heart of the mountain, the special magical stone of the clan of Kree. Now before we begin, let us view the points as they currently stand. For defeating the dwarf bandits, each champion receives 250 Hexperience points. <laughs> For defeating the vampire, each player receives 1,000 experience points. <laughs> For completing their secret mission, Arya receives an additional 500 experience points. <laughs> Well done. And with that, adventurers, we return to the mines of Kamar. May you be guided on Sorios' wings as we return you to your destination. How about that? Okay, um, uh, should we look at him? Uh, I'm going to cast Mage Hand, right, and pull his cloak off and uh, press to digitate a little bit of blood and the ick off of it and throw it round my shoulders. I've got a fancy new cape. 
And it has a high collar. It's black. It's very nice. Can I you, <laughs> does he have any pockets? We could, uh, he does have some pockets. Would you like to rummage through them? Oh, sure, yeah. Please yeah. make an investigation check for oh, me. That's, uh, yes. Ooh, I did not find anything with a three, I don't think. <laughs> Modifier creep? Now, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Investigation is a whopping plus three. All right. A total of six. Six, like the hex. Like what the you hair. find on his corpse are little bits of bone. And inspecting them, you determine that these appear to be dead corpses of bats. Ew. That's, that's pretty disgusting, Mike. Gross. No, Super gross. No, not a fan of that. I will no. kill dwarfs, but um, no, not bad. Just, just for the fun of it, I'm going to send me little mage hand to scurry about, see if I can maybe find anything shiny, maybe something, you know. All right, I'd like you to go ahead and make an investigation check for me, please. That is a natural 20. Nothing, there's nothing in the pockets. I don't know why you're looking. That is a plus two. Excellent. Not so 22. On the skeleton where you found the pliers and the note earlier, there is also a pouch attached to its waist that is not quite completely rotted away. As you open the pouch with your mage hand, you find two uncut diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put those where I put the other. <laughs> Stop in a nice little collection. <laughs> Does somebody take the pliers, by the way? Or? Yes. They're fuzzy. Yes, no very right. fuzzy. They're very soft. Mm, I like that. Okay. I would like to take a moment to uh, cure my wounds. I cast the spell Cure Wounds. Excellent. <laughs> what level do you cast the spell? Uh, I believe this is a uh, first level spell. Just at first level? Excellent. How much? Uh, that's a 1d8 plus spellcasting modifier, which is charisma. So that is 4 plus, what is the charisma modifier, Talon? 5. Excellent. 9 hit points restored to you. Huh. Mm. Now, keep in mind, this is still considering the 13 hit point maximum that you are at. You will only be able to regain your maximum hit points by taking a long rest. So you are injured for a while. Mm. All right. <laughs> Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could have happened to you. <laughs> oh, very nice guy. <laughs> uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, Jim, <laughs> <coughs> right. So, well, let, uh, so uh, this, this coffin is a door, I think. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it dark inside? It is. I'm going to look in and see if I see anything. All right. As you peer down into the passageway, you see that there is a hallway that leads about 10 feet forward and then makes an abrupt right turn and appears to go further. Oh. As you peer down, you, you think you hear something coming from deep behind this hall. Oh, Claude, do you want to go check that out for me? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> In go invisible. Yep, thanks. Turning invisible, it's Gampers down. Going through the hallways, it finds itself in a large natural cavern, illuminated by fluorescent blue fungi. Oh, yes! <laughs> Did, there's a, there's a mushrooms down here. Uh, I can see mushrooms. Mushrooms! Yes, they're <laughs> glowing mushrooms. You, you know, also I think that's, that's going to do me some good. I think mushrooms. Uh, I, well, what, yeah, are they maybe. healing mushrooms? They could be. Do they... <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> you also notice a bit of movement Ooh. coming from the far right side of the room. A tall figure that you thought was part of the fungus originally moves a bit to inspect another large mushroom growing on one of the walls. He moves very slowly, very lackadaisically, and you hear him almost humming to himself. Uh, you're not going to believe that there's a fungus farmer down there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he probably knows which ones make the best tea. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Yeah. Bang, I'm we sure he does. Can uh, he see a ruby or anything like that? Oh, um, uh, <laughs> I don't see any rubies. Oh. Uh, I don't think. Do I see any rubies? Make a perception check oh, for sure, me, yes. please, Krieg. Yes, oh, with, um... I think it's with the uh, M's stats. 
Oui, let me just pull him up. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, perception? Yes, please. Okay. That's a uh, natural Udo. Oh, <laughs> so critically failed. While the imp is <laughs> beginning to look around for the ruby, it is distracted by the voice of this mushroom man. <laughs> well, what are you doing growing out of the wall like that? <laughs> we want to give you a little trimmy wimmy. Come on over here and get in my pouch. And he pulls out a bit of pliers and snips some mushrooms and puts it into a little pouch on his person. That's right. Just a little bit of mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> De it's definitely a, a mushroom farmer. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's your take on this mushroom <laughs> farmer? Does he seem friendly? Does he seem dangerous? Oh, he's, he's very weird. <laughs> very weird, yeah? Yes. All right. Not normal like me. Uh, <laughs> well, may maybe we just go in and try to talk to him. I don't know. Yes, I, oh, I can yes. be very persuasive when people aren't biting my neck. <laughs> sure. And we've gone this far. We can't go back now. Uh, let's maybe not send him first, though. I like your thinking. <laughs> you, are, <laughs> you are bleeding a lot. Uh, uh, I'm just going to just uh, hop in. Yeah. All right. Just come charging out. Leading the way, Talim, you enter. Or excuse me, not Talim, Krieg. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah, Krieg. Krieg. You enter the room. Uh, hello there, sir. <laughs> Can I get kind of close to the, kind of around the corner, but not quite in the room yet? Absolutely, just, just kind of like up. right here maybe, sort of in this area here? Yep. Okay, cool. I'll great. go ahead and follow him in. All, All right, way. tell him follows in. Venita, would you like to approach as well? Uh, yeah, bring it up to Rhea. I just want to take a look before I uh, put myself out there. I don't want to get hurt again. Not a, understandable, understandable. <laughs> well, 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 we've got ourselves a little groupie. Come on in, come on in, please. Oh, the water's you. fine. Oh, where's the water? Oh, it's all around us. We're bathing in the blue light <laughs> of all the mushrooms, man. Yes. Would you like a little? Oh, um... I does, personally would do? love a little mushrooms. Do you Please, have... friend, come on over. Oh, could you make uh, tea, though? Mm. What kind of mushrooms are these? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're glowing blue. They <laughs> are... I know! Th that's the kind they are. <laughs> They're of all kinds of varieties, miss. Anything you might want these mushrooms to do, I gather I got one for you. Barkeep, ring the bell. <laughs> ring the bell. Let's open that channel. Margo, we've never had a serious discussion about the dangers of peer pressure. <laughs> 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 Remember who you are and what you stand for. <laughs> Sage advice. And thus the D.A.R.E. program was invented. <laughs> Would and you like a nip? I don't think so. Uh, not right now. What's your name? Who, who are you? Oh, my name's Borto. Okay. Um... How'd you come to be in this lovely cavern? <laughs> well, that's a good question. I mean, one day I just kind of opened my eyes and looked about and I thought, hey, there's a mushroom. <laughs> and I looked down and I said, I'm a mushroom. <laughs> and I don't know how it came to be, but I guess I sprouted some legs and I figured I may as well take care of my other brothers and sisters here. Sure, sure. I get that. I totally get that. Right. Uh, hey, is there any way through here? Oh, you want to go farther into the cave? I just, a is little it an spelunkin. Option? Is it an option? Is what I'm wondering. Of course it is. Mm. Yeah, but um, I do need you to do something for me before I let you go through. Barkeep, open the Bark. channel. Oh, I'd love to. Nico, let's try to avoid a situation like last time and be a bit proactive. Use your charm to get this fella to tell you what he's not. An excellent idea, my lady. I would like to cast charm person on this mushroom man. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> A wisdom saving throw. That is an 18 naturally. Oh, oh, not very good. I'm sorry, Nico. It's not. It's a rough night for you. Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. <laughs> How much but psychic damage do we take? <laughs> <laughs> That's called vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, as you try to charm him, though, he does walk towards you and he says, Hey, there's a friendly face. We'll what can I do for you, mate? <laughs> we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Um, friend, <laughs> I can't help but notice you seem very, very knowledgeable about these mushrooms. I know a thing or two. <laughs> I was wondering if you could tell me, are these mushrooms dangerous at all? Oh no, well at least none of the ones that I've tried here. There are a few and I, I don't like to admit it. I do get a bit hungry from time to time. So when I do, <laughs> I grab a one of my little brothers and sisters here and I have a munchy munchy and you know, <laughs> I don't feel great about it, but it does fill my belly. Um, I, I would like to search deep within my mind to see if I know anything about this man or the mushrooms in this room. All right, I would like you to make a history check for me. Wonderful. <clears throat> Seven. Modifier? Three. Ten. You've never seen a man made of mushrooms before <laughs> in your life. <laughs> Tell me, friend, what was your name again? Boto. Borto? Borto. Borto. A fine name, sir. A fine Thank name. Thank you. Obviously, you and I, though I think we're quite similar in some ways, are quite different in others. And uh, I was wondering, would these mushrooms have any adverse effects on a person like me, if I were to say, touch one? Well, you see, that's where maybe I need a little bit of help here, right? Because G come on over here, C come on over. He leads you over to this wall on the far end of the room, down over here. And pointing to this wall in front of you, he says, now we've got a little bit of a curtain here. Some mushrooms have grown down over this passageway that goes over further into the mines. I don't want anything to do with that, you see. So I figure, I haven't tried these yet, they're brand new. Would you guys be willing to maybe give it a little crunchy crunchy? A little lick? Are they, all, are they all the same? Oh no, they're very different. It looks like we have maybe four or five different varieties. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm good, so. <laughs> Tell you what, <laughs> I've lived a good life. I'll give him a try. I'm going to cast Prestidigitation where he can't see and make a tiny mushroom appear in the end. All right. And pretend to snack on it. All right. I'm going to want you to make a stealth check for me to see if you can do this. That is a seven. Mm. Modifier? Eleven. Excellent. Ooh. Eighteen. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. So he is going to make a perception check to see if he notices this. Contested against an eighteen. A sixteen and a perception of plus one. Oh. <laughs> Well, there's the, there we go. I need each of you to maybe try one of these. How do you feel, my friend? I feel fine. Tell you what, how about you try this one that I just took a bite of? I'm going to grab a mushroom and hand it to him. All right. Takes it out of your hand, looks at it, and it looks like it's maybe speckled with bits of red and white. The base of it is kind of a palish blue color. He says, I don't think I never tried this one. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Yeah. He pops it in his <laughs> mouth. It's a tad bit spicy. Right? Yeah, that's what I, I got the same. Yeah. That's not too bad. You guys <laughs> want a taste? How oh. do you feel? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that's not surprising. <laughs> um, I would like to cast Magic Mouth. Okay. And uh, if this is possible, I'd like to cast it on the palm of my hand. <laughs> okay. Um, and I would like to cast the spell in such a way that um, this mouth repeats the word yes whenever I ask it a question. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that for you. If you need a friend, you know, there, there are other <laughs> people. We're all here for you. 
while you're looking that up, can I ask a quick question? Fair, sure. Do his pliers? He nearly died three times. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a wise precaution. <laughs> Do I always talk to my hens when I die. <laughs> <laughs> Do All his right. pliers look like those pliers? Though? They do, yeah. They do. Okay. They look just like that. Yeah. All right, okay. yeah, you can do this. Okay, um, you know what? I think my friend here, Bob, <laughs> would like to eat this mushroom for me, if that's all right with you, Borto. Was that all right with you, Bob? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, how about Bob will eat one of these mushrooms for me? You got a little friend there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is my friend Bob. Bob, do you think that Borto is a nice man? Yes. <laughs> well, I think you're nice too. <laughs> All right, let's give you a mushroom. He grabs one off the wall. This one is a little bit different. It looks gray, uh, just kind of all over, maybe little bits of off coloring. And he puts it into the, the magic mouth there. You go ahead and chompy chompy. <laughs> kind of like uh, gums it a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'd like to, um, I'd like to see if I can stealthily keep the mushroom while making it appear that it's been eaten by my magic mouth. All right, I'd like you to make a stealth check for me. The DC on this <coughs> is going to be fairly high. It's going to be a DC of twenty. Oh, because he he's looking right at your hand. <laughs> May I try and distract him? Well, he's trying to be sneaky. Uh, what are you going to do to distract him? I'm going to say, oh, wow, look at the size of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> they're always just touching everything, but they can't touch themselves. Wait, yes, they can. All right, that'll give you advantage on the roll. Go ahead. <laughs> Make your stealth check. Natural one. Oh, oh no! Oh, roll again. Goodness. You have advantage. You have advantage. It's statistically impossible. <laughs> oh, that looks like Tough. it's an eight. An eight <laughs> modifier for self. A whopping, impressive zero. Oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> word. So <laughs> you don't manage to make it appear as if you ate it, but it does look like it's been gummed up a little bit, and that seems to appease him pretty much. He's like, all right, now for you two. <laughs> <laughs> I feed it to Claw. <laughs> Claw, eat the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you're immune to poison for crying out loud. I don't know why you're afraid. <laughs> he, a little bit of smoke comes out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I eat the same one. Game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You eat it, and it, it does taste a little bit spicy. Um, it actually feels like it kind of fills your insides a little bit, coating them with some sort of something. And for the next hour, you have resistance to fire damage. Oh, cool. Oh, hey, oh. That. Thanks, Claw. I appreciate that. He was already Aria? resistant. What would you like to do? You want to try one of these? <laughs> we got a wide variety. I've oh, ooh, I've never been a huge fan of mushrooms. Do I know? Would I know anything about these mushrooms just by looking at them? Maybe which ones look rather threatening? Make a nature check for me. All right. Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Yes. So as you take a look at these, you see that there are a few that appear to have some sort of magical qualities. There are these red ones that make you resistant to fire damage. Mm. There are a couple of other colors as well uh, that will give you various boons, but there is one that makes you kind of standoffish. You recognize some colors in here. They're bright purple, bright green, and you know that if you taste that, you're gonna be messed up for a while. Okay, <laughs> what are the colors of the ones left? <laughs> so there's a, a blue one, and Kay. there is a gray one. Well, I'm going to go with Aria colors. I'll bite into the blue one. Excellent. <laughs> so you take the blue mushroom. The one that you put doesn't it in look threatening, It right? does not look threatening. Right. Nope, nope. <laughs> you take a bite. Tastes fairly nice. Maybe a little sweet, even. And as it goes down, you get advantage on any saving throw within the next hour. Nice. <laughs> well done. The brave are alive. 
Well, thank you so much for your help, mates. I'll go ahead and, as I promised, hey, friends, he addresses the wall, could you go ahead and do a little jumpy jumpy to the side, let my friends through here? <laughs> and almost at once, they kind of part, revealing a passageway behind the wall. Nice. Oh, uh, Mr. 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 Band. Yes. Um, I didn't catch your name, but. It's Borto. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you recognize the name Hoagie? Hoagie. Yes, we found a guy with pliers like those. Hoagie. Hoagie Buckets. No, I can't say that I've ever <coughs> met a Hoagie Buckets. Doesn't that name kind of make you hungry? A little it bit? does a little hungry. bit. <laughs> a little hungry. Makes me want another mushroom. And he <laughs> kind of uh, wanders off uh, to the... Borto. Yes. Um, these mushrooms, they're amazing. Thank they're you. They're fantastic. Yeah. Might I have a sample of each for the road? Make a persuasion check for me, please. <clears throat> Seven. Plus? Eleven. <laughs> I've always wanted my brothers and sisters to see the world. <laughs> I will show them sights that they could never dream of. You're wonderful. Wonderful being. He goes over and he grabs one of each of those different mushrooms and he hands you one. So you have a red one, a gray one, a blue one, and a wild purplish green one. Bordeaux, you've been exceptionally lovely. Oh, stop May it. May the gods bless you in all your endeavors. Thank you. I don't know what a god is, but I'm sure that he will. <laughs> <laughs> and the same to you, Mr. Pointy-eared man. Nick, to my friends. Nick. And that includes you. Oh. Well, I hope I see you again. Farewell. Bye. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Having survived the mushroom room, <laughs> you continue on into another area, descending downstairs into a long, dark tunnel. As you follow, you find yourself emptying out eventually into a large, circular room. And as you all enter this room, a large sound falls from behind you. Fujunk! You then hear the following sounds. <laughs> and then, bunk! And another door. There is a large box in the center of this room that has been tossed there by something. Did uh, somebody say a box? Excuse me, Guardians, can you help me move your chairs back just for a wee yes, moment? of course. Um, uh... Oh, you're very kind. Well, now, Mr. Hexmaster, you said a box. I happen to have a box. <laughs> Mind if you do. Whoop! Ooh, heads up. That's a scary box. <laughs> I'll hold it. Don't you worry. All right. We win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Champions, please investigate the box. Box, all right. Can we ask for checks from you, or are we just doing this? You, this is all you. My chand. This is all My you. chand. <laughs> oh, oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Inside are several sticks of TNT connected to a timer and multiple wires. It's a code, right? right? So yeah, 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 yeah. One that looks kind of like an e. eight. E. 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 And let's see. E. E. H. E. H. E. H. Four Two minutes C's. and thirty seconds uh, are on the clock. This is one. Um. This is one. Okay, so. <laughs> oh no. No, no, no. Right. All right, so E, H, E, A. Oh, it spells A. M, I, N, this is an N. N, E, H, N. E, right, N, E. Right, yeah. Um, I think we all die. F, 
it the right way up? I'm not sure that it is. Have a little faith, Father. There's still... Try that way. This way's right. This way's right. Alright, alright, alright. So... Alright, alright. So... So... A C. A C? A C? Yeah, C. C? Down. Fishy. What looks like a fishy. U? C U. C U. It's not a mountain. Oh, here, here, T, 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 C, U, T, cut, the, cut, the, so that's an I cut one of the chords. Our champions don't seem very literate at the moment. I, uh, I, T, I, T, E, I, T, E, the white, the white, L, L, yeah, some sort of education. Love, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's four. Four. F, F, cut the. You guys only have about three minutes left, you better hurry up. Alright. Cut the white wire. White wire. No, cuts the what? And then. But it's. T. H. E. Uh. Woo! And. <laughs> and. Then. I bet that's what it's called. There's Vanada's wicked sense of humor. E. Then How much time do they have? White wire down blue! Only two and a half minutes left, that's crazy! Right. I always knew you could do it. I have we to say. We never it. doubted you for a moment. No, that is all. Awesome. What are you doing? Taking it easy over there. All right. I must got blown up. It's so difficult being trapped in this tavern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great teamwork, you guys. Yeah, Very good. That was good. Yeah, right. Right. Very good. Your victory is short-lived as you hear the door open again. Uh -oh. And you see a small figure, balding, but with a large white beard hanging down, overalls covering his person. He looks at you with a wild look in his eyes and says, whoa, and closes the door and starts making his way down the hall. Why did he do that? Should we tape it? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. He's running away from us? Yep. So he has gone, if we can pull up the map. Sorry. No, you're fine. He has traversed through this passageway over here. Oh. And is that door still open? Yes, it is. He oh. closed it a little bit, but it kind of like bounced back open as he uh, left. Uh, I would have said Claw to follow him. All right. Claw does follow him, follows him down these narrow passages, twisting and turning, and eventually he comes into this room here. And you can see a large room, circular, surrounded by boxes of TNT. Uh -oh. There is quite a bit of gold in the center of this room, including some large gems. One green, one purple, one white, and one red. Okay. He currently has positioned himself behind the open door and seems to be waiting. Hmm. Like he's hiding? Like, oh, okay. He ran to do a, he ran to do a room. There's, um, there's not any gems in there. Um, <laughs> and um, he's hiding behind the door, so. There's not, a, what's in there? Uh oh, uh, there was a guy, an old guy with a beard. And nothing else? Okay, there was some other stuff. There was uh, some gold and maybe, I don't know. Some. Anything that looked dangerous? Um, I, uh, well, how would, I, I don't know how I would know that. Anything that looked like the heart of the mountain? Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I don't know, uh, anything around the wall? Okay, here's what I think we should do. I think we should go in there. But we have to be careful because he's hiding behind the door. So maybe we, like, maybe if we, like, pretend like we don't know he's there, then we just, you um, know, I don't know, blast him. Yeah. You know. well, how do uh, that's your solution to everything. Well, he just tried to blow us up with a bunch of uh, dynamite. Yeah. Did what he have anything on his person? Anything, any weapons, anything? Uh, let me look through Claw again. Does he have any weapons? He doesn't have any weapons. What he has instead is a large sack on his back that's bulbous. Oh. Does it seem very heavy? It does. It does. <laughs> Dermot is gone. Dermot's <laughs> here. Dermot didn't leave ya. He would never leave ya. You're not trying to open a channel, are ya? Oh, 
<laughs> like hey. that would leave you crazy. Oh, yes. What have I told you about small bearded men? Blast them. <laughs> In time. I think this is a good opportunity to show your team how good at an intimidation you are. Ooh, yeah. That was a short time. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's tell you what, guys. I've been running there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna scare him. You're gonna scare him. <laughs> oh, I'm very scary. <laughs> okay, you. Okay, yeah. All right. I, I mean. Okay. Let the boy have a chance to shine. Okay. I, we don't need to hurt him right away, though. Okay, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna sneak my way down the tunnel. Okay. Cut it, and then right before I turn the corner to into the open door. I cast darkness on myself. And what you see, well, if you, if you could see me, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my pupils expand, <laughs> fill my whole eyes black. It's quite scary. And then, poof, 50 feet in all directions, magical darkness. Excellent. Darkness emanates from you, filling the room in utter pitch black. And then I go charge again. Okay. You go rushing in. However, you, can you see in Magical Darkness? I can see perfectly. All right, <laughs> excellent. So you rush in, and you see him hiding behind the door, looking around wildly, trying to figure out what's going on. He's like feeling the walls around him. He's blinded. Um, I pull out a dagger, and I put it to his thro throat. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> And I say, and I say, uh, excuse me, sir. Are you ready to die? Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> <Animal. laughs> See, I told you. Totally Please, make, <laughs> yes. Please make an intimidation check with advantage for me in this scenario. <laughs> okay, first one is a 16. Okay. Get a five. We'll go with the 16. 16 <laughs> modifier? Eight. Eight. Woo! Okay. Well, Matt, I told you I was very scary. Yeah. I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> I got lots of money in there, and I don't want to let it go for nothing. Okay, well, we're going to take that for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, why, did, why did you try to blow us up? Because I didn't want nobody taking my gold. Oh, well, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, 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 friends, please do come in and be careful, it's quite dark. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, uh, my name is Fang. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I am your worst nightmare. I <laughs> am. <laughs> <laughs> So do the rest of you then go in and, and enter? Yes. So Jacques and I is going to hold back a minute and uh, he is going to cast Disguise Self and make himself look like our good friend, the vampire. All right. <laughs> now, as you enter the room, it is still magical darkness. No, you guys, unless you have uh, the ability to see in magical darkness, cannot see in this room. I will say that my weapon is magical and casts 40 feet of light since our last round of initiative. So if that's still activated, magical I have darkness. a bit of a magical flashlight sword. <laughs> flashlight sword. Ten minutes. Oh, okay. Mag I had to try it. It extinguishes even that magical light. Yes. Hey, I, Matt, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, just so you know, Jacquemil has a feat called Perfect Mimic. And okay. as long as he is pretending to be someone else, he has advantage. Excellent. On persuasion and deception checks. Perfect. Well, there is still sound in this room, so that will help you. So as they come wondering it, I'm going to just like back up. Okay. Just this pool of darkness. <laughs> and I just. Are, back, are you there? Back away. Back Where'd you go? Away, <coughs> on top of the pile of gems, so that I grab the red one. <laughs> Bang, where are you? You can't see anything. I'm right here in the darkness. You can see the darkness. I need, why is it so dark in here? I need, I need the light, I need, I need the light. Sir. He starts fumbling around in his pockets Sir. and you hear a <coughs> Don't. Boom. Oh. A bomb goes off in the room and you hear an explosive chain as these boxes of TNT explode simultaneously around the room. And then you feel nothing beneath your feet. And you are falling. Oh, Nico! 
Yes, Nico, and everyone. Uh, Mr. Hexmaster, sir, Mr. Hexmaster, sir. I'm sorry, but the keys have been spent for this evening. Oh, no. Oh. All right. There are the keys. They're spent. You can see it. <laughs> now, witnesses, something very important is about to happen. This is your time. Your time for judgment, for you to discern who best championed the night. I want to invite you now. You have five minutes to vote for who you think best championed the night and brought the most honor to their clan. Can you do that for me? Yeah. And as go. they That's vote, fun. we ah. shall award the final points for those encounters. Oh, I'd love to hear Three. it. Three. From the Hexmaster, no, right. <laughs> each character, each champion, shall receive 500 hex points for disarming the bomb. Well done. Oh, well met. However, because the other encounter did not go as planned, each champion shall only receive 200 points for the encounter with the old prospector. <laughs> Bringing that total to 700 points for this quarter. 700 points. And pray tell, what did Nico get oh. for? Yes, and for completing his secret mission, Nico gains 500 experience points. Well done. You have had a tough night, buddy, but you did it. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> you earned it. <laughs> Boy. Well, that was, that was exciting. A pretty wild ride, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I'd say. Come on, Krieg. For you, a song in your heart. <laughs> Come on, tonight. Put it back. Please. So, Mr. Uh, Hexmaster. Oh, they're chatting right now. All right. Yeah. Are you cool? I'm Come not on. in Come on, Krieg, please. Oh, there she goes. Come on. Who slayed the vampire? Arya! Who slayed the tiny broken man? Arya! Who makes sure everyone else is in the Who did not let us get blown up? Right? I didn't let us get blown up, right? So we award him for that? Who's got a cool looking cape? Well, who's with it right now? Krieg! Oh, my oh, word, Krieg! Oh, 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 Who told a great joke about mushrooms and fungus earlier? The guy that you It was a good oh, joke. Everybody got a laugh. Everybody Who walks away happy. Who sang three impromptu right? songs that were incredible? I did in my head. I did oh, sing three the last time. Oh, Krieg, you're going Who down. Who set him up for those songs? you got to have a setup, guy. Do not forget, Zeneda has been among the least violent Nine. That is true. Stopping up. enemies through sleeping, through not missing that was pretty smart. No? That was exactly. smart. <laughs> not for lack of trying, but what can I say? <laughs> come on, then, Veneda. Come on, Veneda. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'll tell you what, we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm posing three. as a vampire. We're going to go three. all well, sparkly well, and well, pretty well, for everyone. Price. Come we'll on. See. <laughs> You know you want it. You know you Tell want it. You know you want some oh, more. I've like. got everything. Now, folks, I hear that, that Jack and O can do an incredible impression of me. And if he were to receive enough points, he might bring that out. It's true. Oh, wow. let's hear it. <laughs> wow. I've heard it's not worth it. It's, it's <laughs> wonderful. It'll have you all on the edge of your seats before you take the plunge. <laughs> One minute left for voting. One minute left. Please. I will write a song for you. Yes. I will write a song for you. Sing. Sing. Nico, sing. Sing.
Now, I want to talk to you at home, those near and afar. Do you remember the spell I told you earlier? HiveChannel5.com. What was that? HiveChannel5.com. Oh, you are so wonderful. All right, so, um, citizens of Throsha, you'll have until Wednesday at noon, Throsha time, um, to be able to cast your vote for who will champion the night. Um, for those of you international folks, that's Greenwich Mean Time uh, minus seven. Perfect. So thank you for coming tonight. If you're interested in finding out what happens after all the bombs and such, please join us again tomorrow night at 7.30. Until then, we bid you adieu and safe travels on Soros Swings. Bye-bye now, farewell, and thank you. Thank you all from the Hex! <laughs>